Yes, finally it is real. After countless years of conjecture and investigation, the scientific community has at last unveiled the existence of the first ever white hole. What exactly is a white hole? And why is its discovery sending ripples of excitement through the astronomical world? How might this extraordinary revelation impact you personally? Remain with us as we delve into the enigmatic realm of the white hole, a phenomenon just recently brought to light by intrepid scientists. You've likely heard tales of black holes, formidable gargantuan entities concealed in the far reaches of the cosmos, consuming all that dare approach. Yet there exists an antithesis to the black hole, known as the white hole. Equally spine-chilling, understanding the nature of white holes demands an exploration of their darker counterparts. Pay close attention to the intricacies, for the qualities of white holes often mirror those of black holes, albeit in an inverted manner. Black holes manifest in a variety of dimensions, yet there exist three primary classifications. The mass and size of a black hole dictate its category. The tiniest among them are referred to as primordial black holes. These minuscule cosmic oddities may be as small as a lone atom, yet possess the mass of a colossal mountain. The most prevalent variety, the medium-sized stellar black hole, can boast a mass up to 20 times greater than that of our Sun. Despite their extraordinary mass, these black holes could comfortably reside within a sphere just 10 miles in diameter. It is their dense mass concentration that generates an overwhelming gravitational force, ensnaring nearby celestial bodies. estimated that the Milky Way galaxy alone harbors dozens of these stellar mass black holes. Now let us venture into the realm of the largest black holes, the supermassive. These astronomical behemoths possess a mass exceeding one million suns combined. Astonishingly, their volume could be contained within a sphere the diameter of our very own solar system. With this understanding of black holes, we can now turn our attention to their enigmatic counterparts, white holes. Shrouded in mystery, White holes reverse many of the qualities we've just explored in black holes. As we continue to unravel the secrets of the cosmos, discoveries like this first ever white hole will not only spark our curiosity, but may also forever alter our perception of the universe and our place within it. Current research implies that at the heart of every sizable galaxy dwells a supermassive black hole. The one nestled at the center of our Milky Way galaxy is christened Sagittarius A, Boasting a mass equivalent to roughly 4 million suns, it could be encapsulated within a sphere with a diameter no larger than our own sun. But how do black holes come into existence? It is believed that primordial black holes emerged in the early universe, shortly after the monumental event of the Big Bang. Stellar black holes, on the other hand, are birthed when the core of an immensely massive star implodes. This implosion triggers a supernova, a stellar explosion that hurls fragments of the star into the cosmos. As for supermassive black holes, scientists postulate that they materialized concurrently with the galaxies they inhabit. Intriguingly, the size of a supermassive black hole correlates with the dimensions and mass of its host galaxy. The formidable gravity of a black hole prevents even light from escaping its grasp, rendering it invisible. Yet, the effects of its potent gravitational force on surrounding stars and gases can be observed. By scrutinizing the motion of a star orbiting a particular point in space, researchers can determine if it is under the influence of a black hole. When a black hole and a star orbit in close proximity, they emit high-energy light, detectable by scientific instruments. At times, a black hole's gravity is so powerful that it strips away a star's outer gases, forming an accretion disk around itself. The accretion disk spirals towards the black hole. It becomes heated to incredibly high temperatures, releasing X-ray light in every direction. NASA's telescopes are able to capture this X-ray light, providing astronomers with valuable data. By analyzing this information, astronomers gain insight into the properties and behavior of black holes. With each new discovery, we inch closer to unraveling the enigma that is the black hole, shedding light on the mysterious forces governing our universe and deepening our understanding of the celestial world that lies beyond our reach. Is our sun destined to transform into a black hole? Fortunately, the answer is no, thanks to a crucial limitation. The sun's mass is insufficient to collapse into a black hole, but this doesn't exempt it from an eventual demise. As it reaches the twilight of its existence in billions of years, the sun will evolve into a red giant star. Once it exhausts its remaining fuel, it will shed its outer layers and transform into a glowing gas ring known as a planetary nebula. Ultimately, all that will remain of the sun is a cooling white dwarf star. However, 
This fate is so far into the future that there is no cause for concern. Now, let us venture into the realm of white holes. A white hole is the precise antithesis of a black hole, essentially representing a black hole in reverse. As previously mentioned, when matter reaches the event horizon of a black hole, it is inescapably trapped by its intense gravitational pull. Similarly, a white hole features a region where space-time flows relentlessly outward. It possesses an event horizon radius that denies entry to all matter, including light. White holes are theorized to emit light at intensities equal to the force of a black hole. If a daring crew were to attempt entry into a white hole, the overwhelming force of the emitted radiation would annihilate them and their vessel. Even if their ship were impervious to such immense energy, the space-time surrounding the white hole is structured so that the required acceleration to enter increases exponentially as one approaches. In essence, penetrating a white hole would demand more energy than the entire universe has to offer, rendering the endeavor utterly futile. Thus, the enigmatic nature of white holes continues to captivate and mystify us. As we unravel the cosmic tapestry and delve deeper into the secrets of the universe, the study of white holes, black holes, and their profound implications on our understanding of space-time will undoubtedly fuel our curiosity and propel our quest for knowledge ever forward. In the shadows of scientific curiosity, the enigmatic theory of white holes emerged, intertwined with the mesmerizing fascination surrounding black holes. Albert Einstein made a groundbreaking realization. Although observers experiencing acceleration perceive time differently, this doesn't apply to non-accelerating observers. He concluded that the speed of light remained constant, independent of all motion. Einstein's subsequent theory of general relativity unveiled that objects with mass generate gravity, a distortion of time and space rather than a tangible physical force. Karl Schwarzschild seized upon Einstein's field equations, deriving the equation of mass in empty space-time, a realm devoid of matter. The result was the Schwarzschild metric, a complex mathematical representation of a black hole. Schwarzschild's equation depicted a static, unchanging black hole with no charge, an eternal black hole existing unchanged throughout time. The Schwarzschild metric unveiled that, within an idealized black hole, space and time traded places, with the black hole's singularity residing in an inevitable future moment rather than a location. Reversing time within an eternal black hole unveils a captivating phenomenon, the white hole. However, not all scientists concur on the existence of white holes, which only amplifies the significance of the recent discovery surrounding them. A faction of scientists cast skepticism on the existence of white holes, arguing that despite adhering to general relativity and possessing mathematical soundness, this doesn't equate to practicality. This leads some to dub white holes as impossible possibilities, phenomena that cannot be entirely dismissed, yet aren't anticipated to be observable through telescopes. Their rationale stems from the belief that white holes defy the second law of thermodynamics, which dictates that the universe's entropy must remain constant or increase. Although commonly associated with chaos, entropy can be more accurately understood as the potential states of particles within a system. Consider a house reduced to rubble. The debris could be reassembled into various structures, while the house itself represents a singular state for the particles. Although localized decreases in entropy can occur, the overall entropy of the universe must increase. Black holes excel at this, transforming low entropy matter like planets into dispersed debris across vast expanses of space. White holes, on the other hand, are thought to violate this law by ejecting matter and reducing overall entropy. This is also a basis for physicists arguing against time reversal. However, this doesn't definitively disprove the existence of white holes. Theoretical physicist Carlo Rovelli proposed that when black holes can no longer evaporate or shrink due to space-time constraints, they experience a quantum bounce, an outward pressure that transforms them into white holes. This suggests that black holes become white holes almost instantaneously upon formation. As external observers, we continue to perceive black holes for billions of years due to the effects of gravity's time dilation. If this theory holds true, black holes that emerged in the universe's infancy could be on the verge of expiring, potentially bursting into cosmic rays or other forms of radiation at any moment, a phenomenon we may have already witnessed. In 2006, NASA's SWIFT satellite detected an extraordinarily powerful gamma-ray burst, 
designated GRB 060614, in a peculiar region of the sky. Typically, gamma-ray bursts fall into one of two categories, short or long bursts, and are often linked to supernovae. However, the enigmatic burst event defied these conventions. With an astounding duration of 102 seconds, it wasn't associated with any stellar explosion. For comparison, most gamma-ray bursts last between 2 and 30 seconds. Moreover, the burst event occurred within a galaxy, housing a limited number of stars capable of producing such explosions or long bursts. To astronomers and astrophysicists, it seemed as though this gamma-ray burst materialized out of nowhere, only to collapse upon itself after a brief moment. However, years later, scientists posited the hypothesis that GRB 060614 could have been the result of a white hole. What led them to this conclusion? Remarkably, the mysterious burst event exhibits characteristics that align perfectly with what one would expect from a white hole, a tremendous, unstable outpouring of matter and energy that vanishes shortly after its inception, often originating from a point too minuscule to detect. The strength of this hypothesis lies in the fact that current scientific models offer no alternative explanation for the observed phenomenon. We invite you to share your thoughts on the existence of white holes in the comments section below. 